Our focus today is on a neat little map called Spaceball. The objective of this one is, well, get to the center and grab the ball. Keep it as long as you can. You can go into any of the levels with it, but everyone will be looking for you, I guess. You and your team will gain a... Yeah, you get points for holding onto the ball for every five seconds held. You get another point for your team. And it was made by Tiki God at this place that I'm sure doesn't exist anymore. Um, I don't know if this was inspired by Quake 3 at all. I do know that this kind of open, voidish kind of map existed before Quake 3, but Quake 3's like later deathmatch maps really popularized it. Um, I'm going to say no, because I think this map was created in 1999, so it was like right around the same time that Quake 3 would have launched. But anyway, it's a very well done map. I like the aesthetic. Uh, I'm not too big a fan that Red Team starts below everyone else versus... The blue, uh, I think green's here, and then yellow's there. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm stupid. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm not too big a fan of that. I would have made it asymmetrical. Like, I would have had... Or not asymmetrical. <laughs> I would have made it symmetrical having, like, this and this copied over here and here. And then have a platform down here. But I don't know. What the hell do I know about map design? Maybe this is more interesting. And besides, it's a gr good map as it is anyway. Not much to say, really. Let me spawn... I'm going to be green because I'm hardcore like that. And I spawned on red team. I forgot that, you know, it's more of a point. Like, Is it random? I, I swear I've seen this map in action and it was like everyone spawned like in their appropriate areas. But maybe I'm just re like not remembering properly and it's actually random. Anyway, on each little area you got a med kit, you got some ammo. And as you saw there... Uh, the team color things, like the little signs here, actually, like, launch you. And this is how you can go over here. Or, in theory, that's how you'd get over there. I don't know, but here we go. Oh, yeah, you had to control it yourself, never mind. For some reason, I was also remembering it launching you. So if you can get up here, there's just the ball. The, the soccer ball. Don't get murdered! That's true. And the red armor, which is always a good thing. And yeah, see, as I'm holding on to it, my the team score is in fact going up. Yep, that's about it. Good stuff. I'm just gonna get right into it. Yeah, I guess it is random, and I'm just not remembering it properly. Oh well. Let me just make sure we got everyone coming in. I didn't mean to waste that. Excellent. Let's do it. How are the lights staying up, by the way? I know it doesn't matter, but still, I think science would like to a answer at some point. I'm gonna get my mouse pad all good. Help me, blue team! initiative that I do to grab this thing. Then they're probably too busy trying to kill each other, so. I gotta find my crew! Yeah. Ah, oh, balls.
know, this kind of map would have really served, like, you know, been served better by it. Like, if they were able to implement some sort of, like, you know, like, overlay on the ball that, like, goes through, like, the graphics, kind of like in Team Fortress 2, where the flag or, like, you know, objective of the map gets highlighted through the wall so you can see it at all times. I'm not saying that that's, like, you know, I'm not saying that's the fault of the map maker or anything. They wouldn't have been able to do that with the technology at the time, probably. But still, it would help this. Make it a lot more risky to hold on to the ball, you know? Considering that, you know, it's a little hard to coordinate with a map like this, but, you know, this is still one of my favorite little, like, you know, skirmish-type Team Fortress classic maps. Uh, a little bit more refined than, say, like, you know, the Half-Life Deathmatch maps. 
you know, just putting those in there. But, you know, it's fun. That's what matters. Yeah, apparently this is always a thing, and somehow I just never happen to do this. All right. All right. Well, shucks.